Sora is a decentralized blockchain within the Polkadot and Kusama universe. Our ecosystem offers a wide array of DeFi services and commercial platforms. The main token of the Sora ecosystem is the XOR token, which is used in all utilities throughout the network. Others include Val, PSwap, XSTUSD, Series, Dio, Noir, with many more joining the network all the time. Beyond this, Sora also aims to be a supranational world currency. Many Sora contributors have produced groundbreaking CBDC technology and research for several nations of the world. Here are some of the amazing apps and features found on Sora. Pokeswap. Sora Wallet. Fearless Wallet. Demeter Farms. Noir Fidgetal. Dio Arena. And for a glimpse into our future, check out the Sora integrated plan. The following sections will walk you through the routes to join Sora. We will start with the basics, so feel free to skip ahead at any point. For US citizens, the best entry to Sora starts at a centralized exchange such as Coinbase, FTX, or Binance US. From there, we will create a MetaMask account and finally a Polkadot.js account on our way to Sora. For non-US citizens, we'll start by creating a Binance account to make our initial crypto purchase. Next, we'll create a Digifinex account to send our crypto to, and finally a Polkadot.js account on our way to Sora. And lastly, we'll go over working with MoonPay, MetaMask, and Polkadot.js as a means to join Sora. Please note, this is a guide for 2022. A team of Sora contributors are working hard to enable the buying of Zor with euros and seconds using your own self-custodial wallet later this year. This will be followed by other currencies like the dollar and the pound later this year. More details on this will come in Q3. Here is a brief overview of the route we will take for US citizens to join Sora. First, we'll create a Coinbase account to buy some Ethereum. Then we will create a MetaMask wallet and send our ETH to it. Next, we'll create a Polkadot.js account and connect it to Pokeswap. Finally, we will send our ETH over the Hashi bridge to our Sora account and then swap our ETH for Zor. Let's get started. First, a word on browsers. In order to complete all of the steps, you will need to use a desktop version of either Firefox or Chrome. So go ahead and open up Chrome or Firefox if you haven't already. First, go to coinbase.com and select Get Started. Next, we'll fill out the necessary account information. Click the Verify Email Address button. A confirmation email will be sent to the address you provided. Next, you will move to a second verification step. So have your mobile phone ready. Next, you will need to enter your personal information as required by your state. You will now be able to access your dashboard. Navigate to account to continue setup. This is where you will add your financial accounts. Click add funds. If you wish to make a wire transfer into Coinbase, click on wire transfer. Enter the necessary information and hit continue. If you instead prefer to link your bank account, click on bank account. This is a better option if you plan on making frequent transactions. Click the account you would like to deposit money from and select continue. You will now move on to the identity verification step of your Coinbase signup. Click on enable send and receive. Next, you will need to upload a government issued photo ID. If you don't have access to a webcam, you can also upload a photo. Next, you will need to take a photo of yourself. This is to ensure you match the photo on your ID. Once your verification is complete, you will receive an email notification. Congratulations, your account is now ready to buy and sell crypto. From the Assets page, click on Buy Sell at the top of the screen. From here, you can select what you want to buy and your preferred payment method. Let's select Ethereum for this example. And we'll enter 100 USD for the amount. This screen shows you your order preview. Click Buy Now when ready. After a few moments, your transaction will process. 
you now have 100 USD worth of ETH. Let's put Coinbase away for a moment while we move on to part two. In this section, we will create a MetaMask account. MetaMask will act as a pass-through between Coinbase and Sora for us. Our first step is to go to the Chrome Web Store and add MetaMask to Chrome. Click on Add Extension. Click on the Puzzle Piece Extension icon at the top. Then click on the pin to add MetaMask to your browser window. Let's open MetaMask by clicking on Get Started. On the next screen, select Create a Wallet. Next, accept the terms of use. Create a password for MetaMask here. The next section is very important as it relates to securing your private seed phrase. Be sure to write your seed phrase down somewhere secure. This is yours to protect and no one else has access to it. Also, never give out your seed phrase to anyone. It is a good idea to write your private phrase down in two locations. Next, you will confirm your seed phrase by selecting the phrase in its correct order. Your wallet is now set up. Click on the fox to continue. Under account one is your MetaMask address. Click on it to copy it. Going back to Coinbase, we will now send our ETH from here to MetaMask. Click on send receive at the top. Make sure this tab is on send. Also be sure you are sending ETH. Let's click Send All. This will send our ETH balance, and under 2, paste your MetaMask address. Click Confirm, then Send Now. The next step depends on your security preferences. Coinbase may ask you to confirm the transaction using your mobile authenticator app. Your ETH has been sent to MetaMask. It may take a few moments for it to appear over there. Click on the fox. You should now see your ETH balance has transferred. You will now set up a Sora account via Polkadot.js and learn how to send your ETH over the Hashi Bridge to Pokeswap. First, we will download the Polkadot.js browser extension and install it. Open the extension and confirm that you understand the disclaimer. Create the account by clicking on the plus button. Next, you will see your mnemonic phrase. Keep this phrase secure as it is the only way to restore your account. You are the only person responsible for this, and there is no central entity to help you if you lose your passphrase. Give your account a name and a password, then click the orange button below. Your new account is now created. In the next section, we will use the Hashi Bridge to move our Ethereum over to the Sora network to use on Pokeswap. Note, when you want to remove funds from Sora, you can just as easily go back over the bridge the same way that you crossed. Hashi is a decentralized cross-chain bridge that allows users to move tokens between the Ethereum and Sora blockchains. To use the bridge, we need to connect to Pokeswap, our MetaMask wallet, and the Sora account we just made. First, go to pokeswap.io, then select the Bridge tab on the left-hand side. Click the Connect Account button, and select the account you want to use. Note, you can always create as many Sora accounts as you like. With your account now connected, select the Account tab. This is the main page where you will see your holdings. We are ready to connect to MetaMask. Select the Bridge tab again. Select the MetaMask account you want to use and hit Next. You'll know your MetaMask is connected if you see a small Ethereum address below from Ethereum mainnet. Note the arrows button in the middle. This allows you to cross the bridge in either direction. 
To select what token you want to bridge, click on the drop down list and choose a token. For this example, we will bridge ETH. Once you've selected a token, put the amount you want to bridge, then hit next. Hit confirm. This window shows you how your bridge transaction is progressing. Your transaction is now complete. Check the account tab to see your funds. As a final step, we will swap our ETH for Zor. Click on the Swap tab on the left-hand side. Select ETH from the pull-down menu. This middle tab inverts the swapping positions. Let's go ahead and swap the max amount. Click on Swap. Confirm and sign the transaction. Click on Account. You will now see you have Zor in your account. This video is not intended to provide and should not be relied on for financial advice or investment recommendations. There is no consideration given to specific investment needs, objectives, or tolerances of any recipients. Recipients should consult their advisors before making any investment decisions. This information is not intended to and does not relate to any specific investment strategy. Always do your own research.